And this equation is all right because it has a length equal to a length. You can't have a length equal to a time. That just doesn't make any sense. All right. And so this idea that all relationships between physical quantities had to have the correct physical dimensions, although it does seem kind of obvious, on the scale of human endeavor, it's actually quite a new idea. It was only invented in 1822 by Joseph Fourier. And occasionally we still make mistakes along those lines. For example, in 2008, the Australian Capital Territory government introduced the electricity feed-in bill. And the idea of this bill was to give people an incentive to put solar cells on the roofs of their houses by making sure that they got full price for the electricity that they generated. But in order to not distort the market commercially, they put a cap on how many solar panels you could put on your roof and said that households would only get the full price if they had up to 10 kilowatt hours of generating capacity on their roof. The problem? A kilowatt hour is not a unit of power. It's a unit of energy. So power is defined as a certain amount of energy per unit time. And for a bunch of solar cells on a roof, a kilowatt is a very reasonable choice for a unit of power. And a typical solar installation on a roof might have something between 2 to 8 kilowatts of capacity. In other words, under full sunshine, you'd expect 2 to 8 kilowatts of electricity to be generated. And so this legislation was probably meant to say that you get full price of electricity provided your total capacity was at or below 10 kilowatts. But it's not really the done thing to just kind of assume that when people write things in legislation, they probably meant something else, and so we'll go with that. And so this is a real problem. Kilowatt hours does come up in electricity bills quite a lot. If we just rearrange this equation, we can see that if we multiply both sides by time, then the energy you get is just the power times the time. And just as kilowatts is a reasonable unit for power coming off a roof, and hour is a reasonable unit of time, it turns out that the kilowatt hour is the unit of energy that electricity companies use to bill us. And so, for example, you might spend 20 cents per kilowatt hour for your electricity.